Okay, so I just wanted to show you this cool thing. So I learned um, this phrase by Bach. It's an E major. It's from a partita in E major that I'm, uh, I've been studying the whole thing now for the last uh, couple of weeks. And basically, he goes and he plays this. So what I just wanted to show you is that it's everything here is diatonic to to the key of E major. So he goes. So that's the seventh degree. It's a minor seven flat five chord. Then this scalar motion. That brings us to the third degree. This uh, G sharp uh, minor, and he plays a minor seven. Comes back with a scale. So you see, we all we are always moving in 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 fourths. But we're staying diatonic to the scale, so... And then if I land over here, so now I'm on my... So this is the, the second degree, right? So I can play on the second degree over here, um, another minor seven. And then another, another fourth from that too would be the fifth degree. And that will be the five seven. So what I did is I just moved one note that I can get this as a melodic minor scale because the melodic minor scale, the only difference between the major and the minor is one note. The third degree is lowered by a half step. So instead of having this sound, I'm getting this sound that it comes from the melodic minor scale. So you see this is the major scale. And this is the melodic minor scale, just one note difference. So if you play that thing and just change that one note, you get this. You see, now you're getting this kind of like sharp five, major seven sharp five, third degree of the melodic minor scale. And then you get a minor seven flat five. And another, well, that's, that, that's just a minor seven. And then you get the seven degree again. But um, this time it has this um, kind of sharp five in it or flat 13 inside of the um, skill your movement, so. So I think that's really cool, taking stuff from the uh, Baroque era and, uh, you know, which usually it's, it's a bunch of um, major kind of movements and just applying that to the melodic minor by simply changing that one note, which is the third, which makes the difference between the major and the minor tonality. So uh, if you want to check out another video I did about melodic minor, you can click right here. It's a cool video. I think you'll really enjoy it. Check it out.